So what's your reaction to people who say Canada's system's broken, we're losing startups to the U.S.? Um, how can we repair some of these problems? Yeah, it has been a challenge. And uh, uh, with us coming into the space, it's, it's, it's not the silver bullet solution, but it certainly helps. Uh, what we've been also doing with the size of our capital, we're able also to help with our various governments to help create more funding sources for the entrepreneurs. And we're trying to entice other institutions to come alongside with us, not because we care about the competition of funding these companies, but rather we see an advantage to all of us and right across Canada. More capital means more companies, more jobs at the end of the day, and ultimately you get your financial returns as a result. Now let's talk about the government's role for a second here. Are they doing enough to, to spur the venture capital system here and, and startups to stay in Canada? The, the unfortunate part is post-2000, the drop in the venture capital environment has been so calamitous really over the last 10 years. It hit a point that in order to kickstart it again, we need uh, various governments just to help kickstart it. The challenge for the government, though, is that they don't want this to be a permanent handout, and, and, and rightfully so. But what we're trying to do is get the government to come in with some incentives, together with private capital like OMERS and other venture capital funds, and create a much more richer environment. So in the short term, we would like far more involvement from the governments, but really on a balanced basis with the private sector.